So this is my third time trying to do this. So let's hopefully no distractions and no mess ups. All right. Hey, it's your boy 10 from Makeup and Music with 10. And this is my favorite products of 2019. I am going to be doing this in two parts. This part will be all of my favorite drugstore products. And the next part will be all of my favorite high end products. I can almost, almost like... I can almost guarantee that this the second video will be longer just because I get BoxyCharm every month and they've been killing it in BoxyCharm this year. And I've gotten a lot of good um like higher end makeup. So that might be like much longer, but this should be short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I'm just gonna tell y'all a little bit about each product and I'm just going to start with complexion. So my favorite foundation of 2019 in drugstore is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in shade Deep Golden. I ordered this from Walgreens and um because I had like um a coupon and I only use this once, but in the one time I used it, it looked beautiful on my skin. And they not lying when they say it's super blendable. It is super blendable. It blended like a dream. Oh my gosh. I can't even express how well this blended. Um, it was basically my perfect shade. And um, it is something you can build, but I personally just wear one layer and that's it. But I definitely think this is a type you can build. I also bought this same brand for Bay, and Bay has had hasn't had great luck with the foundations that they have. And this one is probably the one that works the best for their skin. So I love the L'Oreal True Match. I definitely recommend it. I will put prices um, in the description, and I will try to put prices up top as well. But they will definitely be in the description. So this is my favorite of drugstore. And I do have like two more drugstore um, foundations, but this has to be my all-time favorite. So next is another L'Oreal product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in Chestnut. This is in shade, shade Chestnut. And this is a great dupe for Shape Tape. This has one of those really big doe foot applicators. And this concealer is my favorite concealer in terms of coverage. This has some great coverage and it blends out beautifully. Oh my God, it blends out so, 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 so good. Like I cannot express how good this product blends out and it um sets beautifully under the eye i just set it with a little powder and we're good i love the l'oreal infallible when i run out i will have to repurchase because wow um l'oreal kill killing it for me right now okay so moving on it's going to be the elf cream contour palette this is the palette, and this is the cream version. We also had the powder version, but the contour um, color that I used broke. But as you can probably see, I have been all up into this color in the contour, and I love this freaking contour palette. It is so good, and it's so inexpensive. Like, the formula in this is creamy it's blendable it looks great on my skin they have a shade that's dark enough for my skin tone which is beautiful i wasn't ever really into cream contour until i tried this and oh my god i love it i love it i love it it's also a great base if i want to do um when i'm doing drag and i want to put on a, a mustache it's also a great base for that so i love 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 this product i do my next product that is from the drugstore is Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder in Chestnut. I really, really enjoyed this powder. Um, I use it every now and then if I'm doing full face or I use it on my bare skin to keep me matte. Um, it is skin clearing. So it's one of, it's like um, a two in one where you're getting like skincare and it gives you some coverage. 
but it also helps with blemishes. So I love this powder. It's soft. It sets on the skin really nicely, and it's not too. It is not a lot of kickback when I go when I go into the pan. So I really love 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 this powder. It's so good. I actually got this on sale at Walmart, and I love this powder. I recommend this powder because it just it has it it nicks all the boxes for me personally. It just it nicks all the boxes. So love love love. Like I said, drugstore has been killing the game all year for like the past couple of years, let's be honest. Okay, so moving on to eyes. I have two palettes that I feel, I have a lot more drugstore palettes, but the two that I feel like I really, really enjoyed this year is the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow. And this is really pretty. I love this palette. I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm going to shoot a uh, palette video very soon. So if you wanna see swatches, you will see swatches coming up soon. But I love this palette. It's so pretty, it's blendable. Like no, no, nothing bad to say about this palette. Like literally nothing. Then the next palette, I ordered this off online. I wanna see it earlier this year or late last year, but it has gotten a lot of use this year. And this is the Clean Color Give Them Shade Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. This is the wine one. And these are gorgeous. I will say that some of the shimmers, you do have to work a little hard to get the pigmentation that you want, but wet your brush and you are good and it smells good and it blends really good for like a $2 palette. So I really, really enjoyed this palette this year. Got some good use out of this palette as well. Um, I, won't, I haven't had it for that long, but it's already starting to peel off. But I mean, I've used it quite a bit. So, so next, eyes. So eyeliner. I love eyeliner. So one of my favorite eyeliners that I use a lot all year is the Palladio. Um, this is a liquid liner. This is the black shimmer one. I love Palladio or Palladio. I don't know how you pronounce it. I love their liners. They make some of my favorite liners and they're very affordable. I think they're $7.99 um, for this one. And then for the, um, like the crayons or for the um, pencils, they're about $3.69 to $5.99 or $6.99, I want to say. But this has to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeliners. It is beautiful. It dries down matte. It doesn't take too long to dry. It is a contender for any, any of the higher end um, eyeliners that I have. Like 100%. It's so good. Like I cannot stress how good this is. Next is another Palladio liner, and this is one. This is the Amora Kajal Cream Eyeliner, and I love this liner. I use it under my eye all the time. I'll put it on, and then I'll just take a brush, and it blends out like a dream. Oh, my God. I love their liners. They have some of the best liners I have ever used, and I have quite a little collection of eyeliner. So Palladio liners, y'all, you need to check them out because, wow. So for mascara, I have two mascaras that I really, really enjoy, and I wanted to give love to both of them because I use these a lot. So this is the Bitsy Volumizing Mascara. Bitsy is a brand that um, was sold at, that sold on, at Sally Beauty. These are $1.69, and this is such a good freaking mascara. I have like three or four backups. That's how good this mascara is. And for $1.69, this is a great great mascara i will say be careful because it will transfer a little bit um because of the formula it's it's a little bit on the watery side but ultimately i love this and then the next one is the femme couture fake lash instant volume mascara this is another one that i have a backup in because i freaking love this mascara i love the brush it comes with this great brush with bristles that you can really separate your lashes. It's a great dupe. I like to say it's a great dupe to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It gives me just as much longevity, just as much um, volume as that one. And I freaking love this. 
will probably forever repurchase it as long as they are selling it. I love it. Okay. There's a couple more eyeliners in here because I, I love eyeliner and I've got some great drugstore eyeliners. I have three Femme Couture um, eyeliners and these are gel liners and I have the shades Metallic Black and Metallic Silver and Black. And these are so freaking good. These slide over any of my eyeshadow. It slides over it. It just glides over it like I don't even know like butter it doesn't transfer um like these are gorgeous I love the black one this is the black shimmery one or the metallic black the black one you will see Bay and I both love this one it's gotten a lot of use you know we're hitting going down to the bottom this is such a soft wonderful creamy formula and I love these and I recommend these you want some good creamy liners gel liners and you don't want to break the bank I suggest these I love these oh my god so moving on to um oh there's one more eye product so the last eye products would be the NYX glitter goals won't we'll get won't do swatches because I'll actually have a video of my liquid eyeshadow collection coming up very very soon I've already shot it I just have to edit it and put it up and you will see swatches of this and the rest of my um, liquid shadows this one is almost empty it's gotten a lot of use because I love purple and I love this formula this formula blends out really really good I will say that with some of my other ones in the same brand not all formulas are created equal some are better than others but I love the NYX glitter goals it's glittery it's beautiful I recommend it 100% if you are a liquid shadow person next I will be looking at face so I have two face products that are my absolute favorite in drugstore so for highlight I have the elf um, apricot glow uh, baked highlighter I love this highlighter it is beautiful and it sits like my on my skin like a oh my god I can't even begin to express how good this looks on my skin it just gives me a nice beautiful glow and I love it I can't say much about it other than try it out because it's really good you could also use this as a blush topper if you wanted as well because it's very um it's a very shiny and shimmery you could just pop it on top of a blush if you didn't want to use it as a highlight but I mainly use it for highlighter and then for blush I believe this brand is called the color shop and I picked up this blush from the dollar store and it has already become one of my favorite blushes I showed this um I showed my blush collection and I will link that in the description my blush collection video if y'all would like to see that and this blush is soft I will just give you a little swatch it is a little dusty but it's soft and it's glittery and it blends out beautifully oh my gosh I can't even begin to tell you I love this blush it's so pigmented this is a one dollar blush it's so and then last for drugstore I'm gonna focus on lips so there are four products here that I love 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 from the drugstore that I feel like I've get, get given a lot of use to in 2019 I have two Maybelline lipsticks one in serpentine and one in this is the wrong one hold on a second here aha here we go and one in molten bronze um, I wear the molten bronze one all the time this is also in my brown lipstick swatch video, which I will also link. And this one's serpentine, and it's a gorgeous green. And these are creamy, and these are gorgeous. I love Maybelline lipsticks, actually. I love Maybelline lipsticks. I, uh, I can't even begin to express how good this formula is. It's just so creamy. It just glides on like, uh, I can't. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Um, and then next is a Isme New York Ultra Shine Gloss. There's no name, but I love this gloss. This gloss looks great on my bare lips because it has a brown, it's a brown-like color. 
and it looks great on my bare lips. It's like brown bronzy, but I can also put it on top of a, um, like a brown, which would be a nude for me. And it is freaking gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's all I can really say. This is great. It's great. And then the last product would be the Femme Couture. I have a lot of Femme Couture. I love Femme Couture. Holographic Lip Gloss in Halo Bronze. This is one of my favorite, favorite lip glosses because it's just glittery. And I'm already wearing lip gloss, but it already intensified the glitter that I was already wearing. And this is just... Oh, it's so good. I love this freaking lip gloss. It's in my lip gloss video. I will link that in the description. So I think I did a pretty good job on trying to get everything that I really liked. Of course, there's still some other stuff in here that I really, really loved, but I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes because I could go all day um, trying to express how many drugstore products or products that I really, really like. So I will put... I will timestamp this and I will put all of the prices for everything in the description. And this will be up. I'm going to try to get this up before the end of the year, by like the 31st, by December 31st. Edit it, have it scheduled so it can be done. All right, y'all. Thank you for everyone who watched. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.